in one year. But this man's done here in less than a month. Phenomenal. And wait till you see him make his entrance. All right, as Mark Starr waits in the ring, we're going to open up this program with a man we've talked about a lot already. Here he comes. Truly, in a short span, one of the most feared men to ever step inside the squared circle. Bill Goldberg is on his way in. I mean, that's that's a very intimidating sight right there, Brain. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, thumbs down, pal. You're lucky you're in the cheap seat. Is he hearing a box of candy? Or something? Goldberg is in the ring. Billy Silverman, the referee, and here we go. He Nothing is. fancy about Goldberg. No, he just no blonde hair, no That's big right. robes, no fancy patent leather boots, no initials, no feathers, no lights. Just walks out and gets things done. Look at this power fan. Oh! You know, he doesn't want anybody to know a lot about him, which is good. No one should know your business if you don't want them to know your business. We're going to have some great tag team action a little bit later on. Scott Hall of the NWO is here. Steve Mongo McMichael going to have some of the stars from Japan in tag team action against Ming and the Barbarian. And we'll be talking a lot about World War III. And I can tell you this, I know the bigger men usually prevail like the Giant in a three-ring 60-man over the top rope battle royal. But I would put my money on Bill Goldberg right now. Only for the lack of his experience, I don't go with him that way. But, boy, you never know. Give him another week. I mean, the way he's going. Did I hear you right? Scott Hall, the NWO's here? That's right. That, meant, that could mean there could be more members of the NWO here. That means there probably is more members of the NWO here. That could mean it could be dangerous. Usually does. Goldberg. And this guy played some football, didn't he? He played for the University of Georgia Bulldogs. And he also played for the Atlanta Falcons. Well, I'm not taking away anything from Mr. Goldberg, but couldn't just about anybody play for Georgia or the Falcons? No, that's not oh. true. And our fans watching on Fox 5 in Atlanta are going to write to you about that. I can tell you that right now. Georgia Bulldogs. I apologize. The, I should have checked their record. The Georgia Bulldogs, one of the finest college football programs in the country. Middle turnbuckle. Look uh -oh. at this. Oh, look middle. at that. By Goldberg. One arm. Oh. Shoulder breaker. He is coming along. A long way, very, very fast. Yes, Tony, this man could maybe win that 60-man World War III. There's his patented tackle, running tackle. Taking the man off his feet. You know, he hits you so hard in the thigh area. When he gets ready to push you away, you don't have any power to kick out. No, you don't. He takes your whole game away from you right there. Jackhammer, here's his move. It's a combination suplex, power slam. Up. Look at that cradle jump. And Patcha. He conquered his opponent. Who is next is what he says. Not what, me. What's next for him is 59 other men on Sunday night, the 23rd of November, at the Palace of Auburn Hills in World War III, where one man will go on into February at Super Bowl to face the World Heavyweight Champion. Here it is, Frank. Look at the power of this man here, this Goldberg. No nonsense kind of a wrestler. Picks his man up for the jackhammer. The longer he holds him there, the dizzier the man gets. And just drops his own weight on the man. Cradles him, hooks him, both legs. He's not going anywhere. This man could win World War III. Your winner, Bill Goldberg.